While senators and House members enjoyed ice cream last week, they were able to cool their tempers after the heated discussions that occurred just moments earlier. Uh, uh, those who supported the governor's veto uh, put out a good argument, and it, uh, and those who supported overriding the governor put out a good argument, but you have to decide there's no maybe button on there. The argument is whether to allow stem cell research in the state of Oklahoma. Last week, Governor Brad Henry vetoed a bill that would outlaw stem cell research in the state. This is not an issue about abortion, and that has to be removed from the discussion. And uh, I think that the, the whole possibility of, of basic new advances to curing diseases is really the overriding thing that medical researchers are interested in. The failure to override the bill Thursday morning in the Senate has proven that the stem cell research debate is not over yet. In fact, it won't be for some time. No, it won't ever end. There will always be people uh, of good conscience on both sides of very controversial issues like this. More than just the loss of scientific knowledge, scientists say there is an economic downfall to outlawing stem cell research. I was just really concerned about um, in the event that we would have researchers doing that kind of work um, would they even come to Oklahoma? They may not be doing it now, but again, sometime in the future, their company may want to do that. So they're going to go someplace where they've got more um, possibilities and they're not limited. This bill would have an economic impact upon the state that I think could be quite dramatic. An impact that could be not so sweet for Oklahomans. Alex Page, OU Nightly.